is JSA TV, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine at JSA coming to you live from Metro Connect 2023 in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I am here with Mr. Chad Rodriguez. Chad is the vice president of network and cloud at Stream Data Centers. Chad, welcome to JSA TV. Oh, thank you for having me. Glad so, to be here. Thank you very much. And so for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell us a little bit about Stream Data Centers? Uh, yes, so Stream, uh, we've been in the business. Uh, we're actually entering our special 25th year. It's a big um, one. It, it, it's a big one. Yeah. So we've uh, we've had almost 26 uh, developments across the U.S. Um, we're, we, we've uh, had anything from land um, to de developing and delivering fully fit out and operated MET facilities. Mm -hmm. Um, our current markets are Phoenix, Dallas, Chicago, San Antonio, Houston, Minneapolis, mm -hmm. um, and and we're growing and we're growing at a rampant rate. We're trying to keep up with demand, and it's it's uh, exciting times right now. Yeah, there is a lot of demand, and we're um, hearing a lot about that demand at uh, Metro Connect this uh, this week. So that that's good. But um, so let's talk about connectivity because I know that uh, it's a big deal, right? Yes. Uh, connectivity within uh, your your data centers and um, IT empowerment. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about how Stream sees, um, you know, I, uh, connectivity and ultimately the the IT empowerment associated with being connected? Yeah, no, it's um, I'm actually a reflection of that in the investment of Stream data centers and, and how critical we see uh, the role that it plays. So um, I've been in the telecom industry for over two decades. So I'm just over three years now. So you look 25 oh, to me, Chad. Well, thank you. I appreciate honest. that. <laughs> so just over three years now, and it's you know it's co uh, conferences like this where mm -hmm. you bring in expertise to where I've been on the other side. I've been a part of that network development. Uh, I'm now being on the data center side and, and having that collaborative conversations as far as you know what challenges, where is their demand, where do you know new routes need to be developed. Mm -hmm. I was having a, a very cool conversation earlier today with with the new low latency route. Uh, being developed from Veracruz into Mexico City, and so it's it's having that you know skill expertise, yeah. um, and and just an information exchange, and and ultimately that's going to create the highway uh, for you know a, a great end user experience, which is what we're all after. And so you know it's a great industry. We all work together on the connectivity side, the IT side, as far as the end users, and the in the data center side. Yeah, you know, um, you make an interesting case point for being here at Metro Connect because business is getting done, yes. uh, and we know that um, uh, you know expansion only happens through some of these partners and some of this collaboration. And you're a proof point of that. So, so very, very cool. Thank you. Um, so, what do you see as somebody who has been kind of on the outside and on the inside now? What do you see as some of the uh, the biggest digital trends within the industry? You know, um, I think the pandemic um, exposed some, you know, workload inefficiencies. Sure did, yeah. And, and that may be, you know, somewhat, you know, overused, but I think... Uh, it's nonetheless true. Yeah, it, it is it, true. It, it's, it's, it's true, right? Yeah. And so, you know, some of the, the digital infrastructure investments we've seen over the past 18 months, mm -hmm. I think will continue. Mm -hmm. um, in, in addition to that, I think, um, you know, we've talked about edge for forever and you, everyone knows you ask a person you're going to, you know, 10 people are going to get 10 different answers. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, historically those were customer driven sort of use cases, mm -hmm. um, really not a go to market, you know, mass type deployment. I think there's developments I'm pretty bullish on with edge computing and deployments yeah, yeah, yeah. entering into this 2023 in in, uh, in the near term as well. Yeah, no, I love that you brought that up because we we you know edge was you know edge was a very very like the the term de jour right. you know you know it's ten years ago and and really kind of you know up through today. But when we talk about the edge um, and getting those workloads as close to the end user as possible, the implications there are are pretty dramatic with in healthcare and some of these uh, some of these other things, but also getting getting our data centers to the edge of, of the the energy, right. getting getting them getting them right there too, because there's uh, efficiencies and sustainability and a lot of uh, implications there as well. So I love I love uh, that comment. I mean, the edge is it couldn't be any more important than it is right now. Agreed. 100%. Yeah. So um so but lots of things going on over there too uh, with regard to personnel and your team. I know that uh, you know big big tech is is kind of contracting a little bit right now. 
stream, that's not happening. What's going on over there? You guys have made some hires and, and things. We have. We've been growing. Um, and you know, again, it's we're entering our our, our 25th year. And it's never been about, you know, a mass full scale. It's been, you know, a very uh, methodical, uh, strategized approach, listening to our customers and meeting that demand. Early on, uh, it was, you know, Fortune 100 enterprise base, sure. which made up 90% of our lease capacity. We've adapted to demand. So really shifted a focus, you know, starting about five years and hyperscale and ultimate wholesale focus. Sure. And so with that, um, we, we've obviously have to build a team to grow that. Um, we've seen a tremendous amount of success, uh, you know, over the past couple of years. And so you've got to build a team to, 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 to deliver on, on what you've said you're going to deliver, which is what we pride ourselves on. And, you know, that's making leasing a great experience and, and yeah. delivering on what we say we're going to deliver and then being a, a full service slate uh, uh, deliver as far as developer and operator. So being able to sell land all the way to the, you know, fully fit out and MEP operated facilities. So a full slate deliver, uh, we're really ramping up and, and just doubling down on that. Yeah. I mean, if your prediction is to be true, you're going to have to have the team to get that implemented, right? Exactly. So it, it all makes sense. But you're, you also, um, keyed in, made a very, very nice segue into my next question with regard to, um, kind of the, uh, your ex, your real estate expertise and yes. how that ultimately plays into, uh, your current and future successes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Definitely. It's, uh, that definitely is a, a differentiator for us. Um, our parent company, Stream Realty Partners, um, you know, the commercial expertise in, in real estate, uh, to be able to tap into uh, that level of expertise, being in the same office, when we're looking to enter in a new market to see where demand is growing, where it's lacking, um, you know, we bring that skill and expertise. Uh, anytime we're doing a deal, Stream Realty is a part of that as far as uh, identifying what what the need is mm -hmm. and what the best approach that is. I love it. Um, and Chad, honestly, I saved my favorite question for the very uh, the very uh, last question. Um, and you just mentioned skill and expertise. Now, you you have served uh, in or are serving in the Air Force. I don't know if it's <laughs> if it's current, um, but um, why don't you tell us a little bit? Because I see it right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't know what they're doing over there, but it's working. Um, so why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about your um, your your um, your service experience and skill and how you bring that to your current position? Well, thank you. I yeah. appreciate you uh, bringing that uh, to the attention. And uh, yes, uh, proud Air Force veteran, uh, served my country. And, and um, you know, my boss and our newly announced uh, partner uh, was a former Air Force pilot. Um, you know, just in the industry as a whole and veterans, just the, the laser focus of attention to detail, mm -hmm. uh, the understanding of teamwork, uh, teamwork concept, um, you know, one team, um, having pride in, in your craft. Um, and, and so that really uh, relays to day in and day out as far as, you know, being a part of the stream team yeah. and staying committed and, and prideful as far as what we what we're going to deliver. I love it. Chad, thank you very much for being with us. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate you it. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.